Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you guys a really fun, different reading. I've never done um, a reading kind of like this before, or maybe I have, but it's been a really long time. But we're gonna take a look and see who are you meant to marry. And if you guys can see, I have three piles here. Each one has an envelope. And inside the envelope, I channeled kind of messages to see um, what this person maybe looks like, things that they are into. Um, it was just lots of things that were coming to mind and I wrote it down and I will share this at the end. It is extra, you guys don't have to watch it. Um, but we're also going to get tarot and all of these cards that I picked out intuitively for you guys to see if you guys know this person, who they are, what they're like, all that fun stuff. So um, really quick guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for following me again. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by my year anniversary on April 11th. I opened this channel last year on that day and I'm almost there so I'm super excited and I'm giving away one free tarot reading once I reach a thousand subscribers. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and I just can't thank you guys enough. Your donations, comments, um, I read all of them and you guys are just absolutely lovely and you make my day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's go ahead and jump in. So you can choose pile one, two, three. Um, this is the Light Sears Tarot deck. I'll show it to you guys. Pile two is the Neo Tarot deck. I didn't wanna to touch it cause then it would ruin it, but oh well. Oh well, right? Don't have to be perfect. And pile three is the Star Spinner Tarot deck. So you can choose whichever one you are drawn to. Again, these are general. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, my email is down below. And I will see you guys at your pile. Hello, pile one. If you guys chose the Light Sears Tarot deck, um, this is going to be your envelope. I will read it at the end. If you guys missed my beginning, this just has extra um, characteristics about the person that you are meant to marry. Um, you can listen to it at the end if you want, or you can, you know, click off the video. It's up to you. I just thought it would be fun to add this for you guys today. So I will read that and incorporate that at the end. And I did channel those messages. So whatever was coming to me as I was writing, I was writing whatever um, spirit was showing me. So let's jump in. The person that you are meant to marry, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Pile number one, soulmate, card number 41. Beautiful. We have unbridled, card 22, your spirit set me free. We have two mermaid cards. We have the future that popped out and you also have mystery. And you guys, I don't feel like reading the shadow attribute. I just don't feel like it today. Normally I do. Um, you guys got the Samaritan and it says refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So that is their light attribute. If you guys want to see their shadow attribute, there it is. But I, again, I'm just not feeling reading their shadow attribute today. Um, let's go ahead and get three tarot cards. Spirit, who is Pal One's person that they're meant to marry? Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Who are they meant to marry, Spirit? Let's get two more cards. What can you tell us about this person that they are meant to marry? Ooh, we have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups showing up. So I feel like if you guys chose this, I am not getting that you know this person because we do have the mermaid card that says mystery and we also have a card that says the future and those popped out together. So that is telling me that this person is probably coming in the future. You guys have not met them yet. Um, and it's gonna be a surprise, I feel like, when you do meet this person. Like for some of you guys, it could be just like um, you were at 
a different place that you don't normally go to and you run into this person and you guys just kind of click. Um, something like that, something like a serendipitous event. And if you guys have seen Serendipity, that is my favorite, one of my favorite movies, by the way. And if you haven't, it is such a romantic comedy. You have to watch it. So um, I love it. <laughs> Um, but definitely with the cards coming out, what I'm getting is that the person that you are meant to marry is going to be number one, your soulmate, okay? So th this is the first card that came out when I was shuffling earlier, and um, this is going to be a very deep soulmate twin flame connection. You guys are going to feel that you guys have known each other from past lives. Um, you guys will just know, you know, when you guys lock eyes together, you guys will just know that you two um, have known each other before, that you two are, there's something about this person, their eyes kind of like sparkle, um, you light up together when you guys see each other. I'm just seeing a lot of just, it sounds corny, but like in movies, I just feel like there's just going to be like sparks flying, like literally I'm seeing like sparkles everywhere when you two cross paths. Um, is what I'm getting here. Um, with the Page of uh, Swords, I feel like this person might be slightly younger than you. I don't feel like by that much. Again, um, I'm getting someone that is going to be free-spirited. How interesting. And then we have your spirit set me free. <laughs> Card 22. This person literally might be 22 years of age when you meet them. Or um, if you are 22, you're going to meet this person for some of you at that age. But I'm getting a very free spirit. And I feel like when the two of you meet, you guys are just going to go on lots of adventures together. This person is going to be, um, I think this is a horse or something. Um, unicorn horse or something i feel like you two are just going to have a lot of fun together lots of adventures like i was saying and you guys are just going to be so free spirited i'm just getting a very free spirited energy here um and i feel like with the eight of wands you guys are definitely going to it's going to happen quickly between the two of you so you guys are going to talk a lot when you guys meet you guys are going to communicate a lot meet up a lot make plans with each other for some of you guys this is someone that you might meet at work um is what i'm getting here with the nine of pentacles but i feel like for a lot of you with the two nines showing up the nine of cups and then the nine of pentacles this is definitely like a wish that you have always wanted this is someone that you are um, that you have dreamt about being with, the type of person that you've always wanted to be with. Um, someone that you, it's going to be your type is kind of what I'm getting here. This person is going to have everything. I feel like they're also going to be very stable here with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, they might have a very good job. They might be someone that is financially very stable that's going to provide. For the two of you, I feel like this person is they're coming through as someone that is going to spoil you is what I'm getting here. Um, again, with the Samaritan card, this this person has really good intentions. I feel like they are, tip, not typically, genuinely a very good person. Um, they're someone that, you know, may help an old lady like with their groceries if they are struggling, if they see them at the grocery store, um, you know, something like that. Or, you know, this person would give up their seat if they saw like a pregnant woman um is what i'm seeing and vice versa i mean it doesn't have to be a male if you are um you know whatever gender you are this person is going to be very free-spirited they are going to be um financially stable i think the two of you guys are really going to hit it off and they might be slightly younger than you is what i'm getting here So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, let me just see if I'm getting anything else. I feel like there's something else with the mermaid cards. I feel like this person is also, they might have a lot of depth to them with the future and the mystery card. I feel like um, they're not going to be, a, they're free spirited, but they're not going to be a very open book, if you know what I mean. Like it's going to take time for them to, um, Feel like they can open up to you i think this person has had a hard time trusting other people but again i feel like the two of you guys are going to recognize each other right away and it's not going to take that that long for them to really open up to you 
um, in this connection. So let's go ahead and if you guys don't wanna watch this part, you can click off the video. Um, but if you guys want to watch it, let's go ahead and see what other information comes through about your person that you're meant to marry. So let's take a look. Okay, so pal one, we have that they might have green eyes, brown hair. I was getting someone with softer skin, someone that has really good skin. Um, I don't know, that was coming through. And we did have like a younger energy. I'm just getting kind of like a baby face. They might be 5'8 to 5'10 in height. Um, this person's going to be into sports. They may wear um, baseball hats, whether they're male or female, um, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, they wear hats a lot. They love to be out in the sun, which is interesting because we have, look at these two cards of just radiating in the sun. Um, so this person is definitely going to like being outdoors. Again, very adventurous is what I was getting. Um, their favorite food is going to be beer and pizza. So <laughs> again, male or female, I mean, I love beer and pizza. Um, we also have charming, they can be beautiful, very handsome. This person is going to, again, be very attractive. Um, I was also getting this person's gonna want kids. So in the future or whenever you guys feel that you're ready, they're definitely gonna want kids. And we have traditional here. So I was getting that even though they are very free spirited, this person is going to want to get married. They're going to want to have kind of the traditional type of marriage, you know, um, between the two of you guys. And um, that's what, what I got for you guys. So pile number one. I hope this resonates, you guys. This was just something extra, something fun. Let me know in the comments below if this comes true for you guys. I love reading your comments. Thank you. Thank you again. And I will see you guys at the next Pick a Card reading. Bye, guys. Hello, Pal 2. If you chose Pal 2 <laughs> or the Neo Tarot deck, I'm going to leave this to the end. If you missed my intro, this is just channeled messages. I was writing down characteristics or attributes about the person you're meant to marry. You could... Um, Click off. You can stay for it if you'd like at the end, or you could click off the video. It's up to you. It's just something extra and fun. So let's go ahead and jump into the person that you're meant to marry. You guys got a lot of cards that popped out, especially the mermaid cards. So let's take a look. Let's see. We have Unfinished Symphony, card number 10. We also have, I'm just going to do the light attribute. I'm just not feeling doing the shadow. We have slave and it says surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Okay. We also have number 19 desire. I can still taste you. And we have memories. That makes sense. We have free spirit beautiful and we have feelings coming out for you guys so i want to go ahead and get the tarot cards right away for you let's see how two person who are they meant to marry let's get three cards who is how to meant to marry okay we have justice can you guys see that okay I'll move the cards in a second. Make sure you guys can see them. We have, beautiful, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine of Pentacles. I can't read Roman numerals sometimes. So, Nine of Pentacles and the bottom of the deck, you guys have the King of Swords here. So, this person could be. They could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to be. Um, I just wanted to point it out there. Um, first of all, you know this person. I think that you have been in a connection or some sort of relationship with this person before because we do have a card of number 10 and it says Unfinished Symphony right here. Um, so it could be that you dated this person and you guys departed. For some of you, I am hearing with the Justice card and the Four of Wands that this could have been actually someone that you were married to before or engaged to before and you guys divorced or separated. 
um, for some of you guys. I'm hearing that from Spirit. But with the Memories card, Unfinished Symphony, definitely there is some sort of connection that you guys have had in the past. Um, and with the card number 19, it says, Desire, I could still taste you. I feel like you guys are... Um, this person is not only remembering you, they're remembering these memories that you guys had together, like all of your sexual encounters. Um, but I also feel like the two of you guys, when you guys do come together, you guys are definitely going to have a very healthy um, sexual relationship. You guys are going to have, you know, in that department, it's going to be very good, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, but, you know, with the feelings card and this, this person is very balanced. Whoever this is, if you guys know, let me know. But they are very balanced. They're going to be emotionally available and they're also going to be, they're going to want, they're going to fulfill both parts of you. You know, being emotionally, physically um, satisfied with this person. And there's a depth to this person that I feel like... Um, with the feelings card, they are just going to be someone who communicates very clearly. And, you know, with the, interestingly enough, with the King of Swords, you know, this is a king that knows what they want. Um, they can communicate what they want very clearly. Sometimes they could be a little blunt about it, but it's ultimately in, you know, their best, your best interest here. But, um, I'm picking up that your person is definitely going to be spiritual. They're going to be free spirited with this card here. Kind of like pile number one. Pile number one um, was, I was also getting like a free spirit, someone who's very adventurous. And I feel like your person as well, this person that's coming through though is going to be very spiritual um, or religious um, because of this card. Um, the slave card and it says surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust I also feel like this is someone that you are going to be able to trust like completely this person is um, you guys have some unfinished business with each other I feel like the two of you guys may be left for some of you I'm hearing um, you guys left kind of confused and maybe there were just things that were not said that you guys wish that you would have said to each other and when you guys cross paths again or when you guys reconnect i feel like um it's going to bring a lot of the memories and feelings old feelings up and you guys are going to work through them together and that's how it's kind of going to start um, for some of you this person might reach out maybe ask to grab some coffee something like that um you know, the Nine of Pentacles, interesting, that came out in pile number one as well. But I feel like this person is going to be very independent, or they are very independent. Again, financially very stable here. And with the Four of Wands, this person is going to want to have, um, they're going to want to get married. They're not someone that is just, you know, looking to hook up. Um, even though we have this card here, but I feel like this person is going to be very balanced. It's a very balanced person with the Justice card uh, coming out. You know, for some of you, I'm hearing that the person that you're meant to marry um, could be married right now, like in a different connection for some of you guys. And there is, um, just for a small percentage of you, I'm getting that this person is going to have to free themselves from this connection. And I feel like they are. Like when you meet this person, um, I'm not meet, but when you reconnect with this person, this person will be pretty much independent or um, maybe they already went through the separation or divorce. But I'm getting that... Um, they're going to be ready when you cross paths with them or reconnect with them again. Um, so it's not going to be that type of back and forth type of energy. Again, I feel like you could really trust this person is what I'm getting. They're going to be very trustworthy and very honest, especially with the King of Swords coming out. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming through. All right, let me see if I missed anything. I'm getting with the memories card, this person is thinking about you right now. 
They're very nostalgic about the connection is what I'm getting. All right, so pal two, let's go ahead and get some of your channeled attributes about your person. If you guys don't wanna watch this, you can click off. But for those of you who do, let's go ahead and see what your person you're meant to marry is like, okay? And if you already know them, you know, let me know if this resonates with you. We have dark eyes. I feel like their eyes are, I was getting like a very set in look, like their eyes are very deep. They just have a very um, mysterious look to them. And I don't know, just a very charming um, dark hair. They're gonna have facial hair if they are a male. If they are not, I feel like this person um, could have braids, either male or female. They are going to love ice cream. That's what I got here. For some reason, I'm hearing mint chocolate chip <laughs> for some of you guys. Um, adventurous, again, like I was saying, and oh my gosh, look at that, free spirit. And you guys have the free spirit card. Cool. <laughs> I wrote this after I pulled the cards and I didn't see, I haven't seen what these cards um, had said. So we have free spirit twice. So that's just confirmation. Loves to surf and travel. I was getting that from your person. They may not want kids at first, but I feel like they will want kids down the road. Um, for some reason, I'm getting this person is gonna have tanner skin. They're gonna have very white, really white pearly teeth is what was coming through. And um, this person might drive a black or white truck um, is what I was getting. Again, male or female, I love trucks. Um, so funny, I don't look like or sound like someone that would, but I love them. So um, yeah, they might be driving a truck, you guys. So pile number two, that was the person that you were meant to marry. Let me know in the comments below if it comes true or if you know this person. I love reading your comments and thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you guys at the next pick a card reading. Take care guys. Hello pal three. If you chose pal three or the star spinner tarot deck, I'm going to incorporate this at the end of your reading. If you missed the intro, this is just channeled messages of the person that you are meant to marry. Um, I will read it at the end. You can stay if you'd like or click off if you don't want to hear it. But let's jump into your cards and let's see who you are meant to marry. Okay, we have card 34, a leg up. We have a shapeshifter. I am just going to read the light attribute today because I don't feel like doing the shadow. Skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to, to see the potential of uh, in everything. We have relaxation. And you guys had two. We have decisions. Okay, let me make sure you guys can see that. And we have trust, card number 33, your perfect custom fit. Beautiful. All right, let me get three tarot cards for Pal 3 Spirit. Oh my gosh, mate. Hold on, my microphone rolled off from the little. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see, Pal 3, the person they're meant to marry. Let's get three cards, Spirit. What can you tell us? Beautiful. Okay, we have these uh, or Eight of Pentacles. Who is pal three meant to marry? Okay, I'm gonna take all of these. We have the 10 of pentacles coming out. Wow. Um, we have the death card. We have the four of pentacles, a lot of pentacles. And we have the sun, lovely, I love seeing that. All right, I feel like, number one, the first thing that's coming through, I feel like you might know this person, but maybe you've never been in a connection with them before because of the leg up card. Um, when I see this card, I think of maybe someone that has maybe helped you before, um, someone that has been very generous towards you, someone that could be a good friend. Um, for some of you, um, I'm getting that, but for a lot of you, I feel like, I actually I'm getting both. You may or may not know this person. 
um, is what I'm getting here. But with all the pentacles coming out, this could be someone that you know from work or that you will meet at work with all of the pentacles coming out. Um, I feel like this person is going to be a very hard worker here with the eight of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Um, they are definitely someone who is going to be well off. For some of you, this person might already have a home. They might um, own lots of different houses in different places is what I'm getting here. And with the death card, that's interesting that that showed up. I feel like this person, when you cross paths with them or if you know them, they might be going through something that was very challenging in their life. Like personally, it could have been, I don't know, for some of you guys, they might have gone through some medical stuff that was very challenging in their life. Um, or maybe they went through some something major in their life had happened with the death card. I feel like this person, when you see them, or um, if you know them, they might look a bit tired is what I'm getting here. Like, like they went through something. Yeah, with the shapeshifter, I feel like this person is in between um, something that they're going through that's pretty major or life-changing in their life. So it could be a divorce. It could be something, I don't know, for some of you with cancer, if they had cancer and they're in remission is what I'm getting. Um for some of you guys, but with the sun card, uh, this person is definitely going to stand out to you. Again, if you know this person or not, the sun is about someone standing out. So if you guys know this person, if there's someone coming to mind that you know at work that really stands out to you and you don't know why, it could be that they are the person that maybe you are meant to marry is what I'm getting here. Um, but with the relaxation and decisions, I feel like the person is going to be very like free spirited. Actually, all the piles, I feel like they ended up being very free spirited. They're definitely going to have a very relaxed demeanor about them. They're not going to be someone that is always on a time crunch. I feel like this person is really going to make you feel very comfortable and at ease. With the decisions card, I want to, I feel like that's for those of you who already know this person. Yeah, look at that. We have another 10, the Wheel of Fortune coming out. So this is about this person. I feel like they they are going to have to make a decision. Um, about what they want to do with this connection. I feel like for some of them, they, because we have the death card here and I was picking up that they might be going through something pretty life-changing. I feel like this person is really going to take their time in deciding on, um, you're going to have to take it slow is kind of what I'm getting. Like this isn't going to develop very quickly. I feel like this person again, has a very relaxed demeanor about them. And, um, if you are wanting like something full blown right away, I don't feel like it's going to happen with this person because of all the pentacles, the decision and the wheel of fortune coming out. But nonetheless, we have trust. So this is someone that you can definitely trust. If you guys have dated a lot of people before that you didn't trust or you just felt like something was off, I don't feel like you're going to feel that way with this person. Um, this person is going to welcome you. I just feel like they might be slower to start the connection because of whatever this challenging situation that they are in or they will be in when you um, you guys do start talking or if you guys like reconnect or if you already know this person. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you guys know who this is. Already, I'm curious to see if they are going through something pretty difficult in their life. Um, I'm also getting they could be 33 or 34. We do have these two numbers here, or you might be 33 or 34 when you meet or when you guys come into alignment with this person. Whether you know them or not, if you guys know them, it could be that um, when you reach this age, that is when things are going to start um, you know, that is when destiny is going to take over and the two of you guys are going to start dating. Um, if you don't know this person just yet, I feel like those are significant numbers or ages that to remember here, but we have one, two, 
tens. So this is definitely going to be a brand new beginning for this person with the death card and the two tens. And I'm getting, I'm just hearing like intuitively to take things slow. This person is going to want to take things slow. So let's take a look, pal three. If you guys want to stay for this, go ahead. If you don't, you can click off. Let's just see um, who you're meant to marry. I channeled these messages and I wrote down whatever spirit wanted me to write down. So let's take a look. All right. So we have... This is someone that is going to want to give or get flowers. So however that resonates for you, they may have blue eyes, um, red blonde hair or light hair. Um, they are, oh my gosh, I can't read my, oh, freckles. I can't read my handwriting, you guys. <laughs> They might have freckles for some of you guys, just a few of them on their face. I was getting that they are someone that's going to have strong hands, so they could work in, I don't know if they are some sort of um, builder, construction worker, carpenter, farmer, um, someone that works with their hands, like an architect, I don't know, like I was just getting someone with very strong hands. They are going to like the outdoors a lot. They're definitely going to be spiritual or religious, take it how it resonates. Um, they could be 5'11 to 6 feet tall. They're going to have um, a pretty good build, so they're going to be in shape. They're going to be working out. They could be muscular, again, male or female, um, but they're going to be in shape. They're someone that's going to eat healthy. Um, I have here that they're going to love pickles. That's so random, but that's just what Spirit wanted me to write, that they're going to love pickles, and they're going to want kids, and they're going to be someone who loves, loves dogs. So... That's what I got for you guys. Um, let me know if it resonated. And if you know this person, I would love to know who they are. And I hope that this was fun for you guys. Thank you again for watching my video. And I will see you guys at the next Pick a Card reading. Take care, guys.